A reading from the Gospel according to Matthew. As Jesus was walking along, he saw a man called Matthew sitting at the tax booth, and he said to him, Follow me. And he got up and followed him. And as he sat at dinner in the house, many tax collectors and sinners came and were sitting with him and his disciples. When the Pharisees saw this, they said to his disciples, Why does your teacher eat with tax collectors and sinners? But when he heard this, he said, Those who are well have no need of a physician, but those who are sick. Go and learn what this means. I desire mercy, not sacrifice. For I have come to call not the righteous, but sinners. Christ says, This is my commandment, that you love one another as I have loved you. We need silence in order to welcome these words and put them into practice. When we are agitated and restless, we have so many arguments and reasons not to forgive and not to love too easily. But when we have calmed and quieted our soul, these reasons turn out to be quite insignificant. Maybe we sometimes avoid silence, preferring whatever noise, words, or distraction, because inner peace is a risky thing. It makes us empty and poor, disintegrates bitterness, and leads us to the gift of ourselves. Silent and poor, our hearts are overwhelmed by the Holy Spirit, filled with an unconditional love. Silence is a humble yet secure path to loving. Our prayer now continues with a few moments of silence. 
I will continue with some spoken prayers in just a few seconds, but I invite you to pause your video now and remain in silence as long as the Holy Spirit leads you. May your peace shine among us and your love set us free. Lord, we pray. Keep us persevering in faith and set in our hearts the desire for your kingdom. Guide your church along the way of the gospel. May your Holy Spirit keep her welcoming. We pray for the leaders of the nations. May they have the will to promote justice and freedom. O Christ, you have taken our weaknesses upon yourself and taken charge of our illnesses. Support those who are going through trials. For those who work with the oppressed, with foreigners, and with the lonely. We entrust to you our families and friends, all who have asked for our prayers and who pray for us. For our country, our state, and our city, that the Christians there may be witnesses to truth and creators of unity. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen.